4D video textures for the first time enable interactive video realistic characters to be built from 4D performance capture data. Here we show 4D walking and running models reconstructed from 8 HD cameras. We can seamlessly blend the two models to produce any combination of walking and running movements. Our 4D video textures achieve this at interactive speeds with a high degree of visual realism. 4D rendering textures the model at runtime using the 8 video streams. Whilst geometries are easily blended, texture is challenging. On the left and centre, blended geometry is poorly textured with a walk or run source, whilst on the right, linear blending causes fading and reduced detail, for example no dynamics in the wrinkles of the cloth. Our 4D video textures solve this problem by computing optic flow vectors between the textures, using these to warp the video during interpolation. The resulting rendering is much clearer, and when animated our 4D video texture enables high visual realism as the models are blended. For example, the wrinkles on the cloth now appear plausible throughout acceleration and deceleration, generated by blending a captured cycle of walk and run. The blend weight between the two actions is visualised by the red tracer below. We've evaluated our 4D video texture approach over a variety of subjects including flowing cloth and long hair, performing a diverse range of actions. The subjects were captured in a variety of different 4D studio configurations. To render our 4D video textures at interactive speeds, we introduce a novel layered 4D video representation. We compress the 8 HD video streams by two orders of magnitude into a series of layers. Here is the first, and here are the other three, adding increasing levels of detail. In each case, the model, camera map, and additional detail captured are shown. The final rendering results from the addition of these details. False colour is used here to visualise camera labels indicating the video source used for each part of the model. Our optimization improves spatiotemporal coherence in this labelling. Here we show a 4D video texture applied to an animated character rendered using our efficient layered representation. We compare a sequence on the left rendered using our efficient 4D video textures representation to the right rendered offline using classical freeview point rendering. Our user study indicates no significant perceptual difference. This animation has been generated interactively using 4D motion graphs, that is, prior work, on top of which we've applied our 4D video textures. Here the motion graphs and 4D video textures are blending jumps, walks and runs. Previously it would have been possible only to generate novel geometry, but with 4D video textures we have the final piece in the puzzle to producing novel animations by stitching and blending 4D performance capture fragments. This has never been done before interactively. These examples show object interaction being used to drive video realistic animation interactively. Here we have again used motion graphs to create the surface geometry in real time and incorporated our novel 4D video textures to add video realism. In this case the objects, for example sword height or box width, are being used to derive the weighting parameters that determine the blending of the motion fragments. Here we show that these weights can simultaneously drive the 4D video textures ensuring high quality video realism. In this further example, object interaction is again being used to drive weighting parameters for both 4D motion graphs and our 4D video textures to create video realistic animation. Here, 8 video fragments, including short and long jumps, are being blended seamlessly. This character shows some limitations of 4D video textures. We rely on coherent surface tracking in the 4D video capture, difficult here. Optical flow is also poor due to large appearance changes between sequences, leading to minor popping artefacts. The high visual realism is well illustrated when characters are composited into a real scene, here shot using a handheld camera. Camera tracking parameters have been imported into the renderer to enable coherent digital physical blending. We showed two 4D video textured characters in that sequence, one, Dan, from left to right, and the other, Roxanne, from right to left. Some viewers have difficulty spotting Roxanne on the first viewing of this sequence. Thank you for your attention.